Hi everyone and welcome back to another video with me Adam from Kinetics Physiotherapy. Uh, today we're going to be looking at exercises to do with posture. So posture is something that gets mentioned to me all the time. Um, so sort of people asking if it's a problem, the fact that they have quite a hunched posture with their chin sticking out. Um, and in short, no, it's not really a problem. Um, it's not a problem unless you're getting pain. Often you can get pain that sort of radiates up towards the back of the head and the top of the neck, uh, into the top of the neck, sorry, and, and maybe in between the shoulder blades, that sort of area. Um, often that can be associated with posture, especially if you're sat at a desk for a long period of time, you spend a lot of time driving. Generally, those are the sort of people that, that have those routines and those daily li in their daily life, and they're unfortunately a bit more susceptible to pain around that area. Now, today we're going to look at a few exercises that, if done daily and consistently, should help improve with your posture, um, especially if you've got that sort of tight chested, um, sort of hunched over, chin out type posture. Um, so, before we start, um, I am a physiotherapist, but I haven't assessed you and I haven't seen you, so I don't know if these exercises are appropriate before you start thinking about doing any exercises to, to work on things like that, or if you start to get, if you have any pain around this area, please go and see a, a doctor or go and see a physiotherapist to get assessed before you start treating it yourself. Just to make sure, because pain around the neck in particular can be caused by a whole host of different things. It's quite a complicated area. This, these exercises for just for people that, that either don't have any pain and want to improve their posture um, or, or try to work to improve their posture or, or if they've said it's been okay it's been okay from a physio or from a doctor um, but without further ado we'll get started so most of them are going to be laying down so the first one that we're going to look at is going to be more towards the neck so we're going to take a lay on the back and you can have your knees bent legs straight whatever's more comfortable for you and essentially what you want to do, it's a bit of an odd one to start with, and the other ones are, should be a bit more simple to, to pick up. Um, so the first one, you don't need any equipment, you're just going to either have your hands by your side, or in here, or on your chest, whatever's comfortable. And what I want you to do is this space here, underneath your, your neck, I want you to imagine you're going to bring your chin directly down, and trying to squash this sort of back of the neck, back of the head area, Towards the, towards the bed or towards the floor. So you're going to, the way it's going to look, what I don't want you to do is, is coming up, head stays in contact with the, the floor or the bed the whole time, and you're going to bring your chin in. Imagine you're trying to give yourself as many chins as possible. So you're going to tuck in here, hold for a count of three, and then come back out. So just tuck in the chin, three, two, one, and then relax. And tuck in the chin in. Three, two, one, and relax. So you may feel this working towards the front of the neck here. You might feel it like myself, between the shoulder blades a bit more. Um, you can feel it towards the back of the neck as well. All of those, it's absolutely fine. So as long as it's not really, really painful, if you start to get any pain with any of these exercises and you haven't been seen by anybody, it'd be worth getting checked before uh, continuing with any of the exercises. So we're going to do a couple more. So tucking the chin in, counting for three, two, one, and relaxing. And again, three, two, one, and relax. And another one, tuck that chin in, three, two, one. And the last one, Tuck that chin. Three, two, one. Good stuff. So you should look to do sort of between eight and twelve of those, depending on how you're feeling. Try and do that. If you can do it on a daily basis, it's really, really going to help. So the next one we're going to stay laying on our backs like this, but you're going to need a foam roller. So I've got one over here. If you don't have a foam roller, it's not essential. You can use a, a towel that's rolled up into a, into a tube or a cylinder. Pop that behind you, and you're just going to lay back on here. So, just want to position this roughly at shoulder, in the middle of your shoulder blades. And you might feel maybe even slightly lower. There's some tender points if you focus on one of those. And then what you want to do is put your hands behind your head just to support you, and then you're going to lean back over the foam roller, just until you feel a bit of a stretch in your back. 
And you're going to take a deep breath in. And out. As you breathe out, try and lean that little bit further over the phone call. And pause for a second. Take a deep breath in. And out. And again, as you breathe out, just try and really lean that a little bit further. And last one, take a deep breath in. And out. So, then try and sit up. Move the foam roller just down a little bit into a slightly different position, maybe even slightly below the shoulder blades. And then the same thing, hands behind the head here, and then just try and lean back. So we're really trying to work into extension of that mid spine, so around the shoulder blades, it's called the thoracic spine. So lean until you feel there's a bit of a stretch there, and take a deep breath in, and breathe out. And breathe in. And out. And the last one, take a deep breath in. And breathe out. So try and do that again on a daily basis. If you do two or three rounds of that, it's really going to help with getting a bit more extension, which is going to help you stand up that bit straighter. So, one of the other things that we, we're going to look at is strengthening the muscles that are towards the back here. So often what causes this sort of rounded shoulder posture is because the muscles at the front are too tight and then muscles at the back aren't strong enough. So we're going to work on the ones at the back today. So we're really trying to bring those shoulders back. So, I'm going to grab a band. And then what I want you to do is either you can stand up and attach it around a door handle. What I'm going to do is just sit like this and prop something up behind you if it's a bit more comfortable. But essentially, you're going to hold it and look it over your feet. So this band is relatively straightforward. You can get a stronger one if you really want to challenge yourself. And what I want you to do is try and bring your elbows up to the side and try and pull it in to roughly across your chest. Pull it in nice and controlled, pause, and then slowly back again. Similar to other exercises that we've uh, looked at in other videos, this should be a nice controlled exercise. Shouldn't be rushing through it. So it should be nice and controlled, pulling the band towards you, pausing for a moment, and then out to the side. If that's particularly uncomfortable for the shoulders in any way, we get a lot of clicking and crunching around the shoulders, then tuck the elbows in a little bit more. So rather than coming out to the side, bring the elbows down. So you're going to pull into here, looking at more of a low row. And then back again. And essentially, the further your elbows out to the side, the more challenging it's going to be. And then back again. And then hold. Slowly back. We're going to do two more together. So pull the band, pause, and slowly back again. And last one, pause, and slowly back. You should really feel it working those muscles around the shoulder blades, then starting to wake up a little bit. Okay, so there's one more exercise we're going to look at as part of this daily routine. So you don't need any equipment. All you need to do is have a lay down on your front. <clears throat> so we have a lay down here. Again, you can do this either on the bed or on the floor. So, so you're going to just rest your forehead on the floor and then you're going to have your hands by your side here. And then what I want you to do is try and lift your arms. Try and keep the forearm parallel to the floor. Then you're going to lift the arms up here, and you're going to reach above your head, touch your fingertips, and then come back to the starting position. 
the whole time, keeping the forearms parallel to the floor. And again, similar to the exercise before, should be nice and in control. So lifting up, slowly reaching forwards, touch your fingertips and slowly come back again. So we're going to do three more, so lift up, reach forwards, touch, slowly back again and down. So lifting up, reaching forward to keep those forearms parallel to the floor, touch, and then come back again. And the last one here, so lifting up, reaching forwards, touch, and slowly back again, and relax. You should really feel that one starting to wake up those muscles around the shoulder blades. So, those four really straightforward exercises, which you don't really need an awful lot of equipment. I mean, not everyone has a foam roller at home, but just using a, 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 get a big bath towel, fold it in half, roll it up and lay on top of that. It works just as well. We just want a pivot to roll over the top of. So it's, it's absolutely perfect. It's not essential to have a foam roller. It's just quite handy to have one. So if you can do those on a daily basis, sort of the more strengthening based exercises, so the chin tucks, the rows, uh, and that last one that we did, the reaching through and touching. If you can manage between eight and 12 repetitions of those, you do that consistently at least once a day. If you're, if you're really going for it twice a day, so do it when you wake up in the morning, do it before you go to bed. It's really, really gonna help strengthen those, those posterior chain muscles, bring those shoulders back, get that chin tucked in, so you'll be standing up nice and straight in no time. So, uh, but like I said before, if you struggle with any of these, or if you get any pain around this area, be worth speaking to the GP or seeing a physio. But if, if you have any questions or have anything else you want me to cover in the future, leave a comment in the, uh, in the description, sorry, uh, leave, a, leave a comment below uh, and uh, I'll read it and I'll get back to you and, and maybe incorporate it into a future video. Or if, there's, uh, uh, if you have anything that you want to, to ask me, you can contact me via any of my social media accounts. I'm more than happy to, to take any messages or any questions that you guys have. And if you liked the video and you got some value from it, please like it, subscribe and share it with anyone you might think will uh, benefit from it really. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys.